Hey everybody, welcome to Rem TV and welcome back to my MLB The Show 20 New York Mets franchise. This is episode 8 and here we are for this May 13th game against the Diamondbacks for 15 and 27. They got Robbie Ray in the mound and we got Marcus Stroman who's looking for the fifth win with a 3.86 ERA. But before I get started, um, I just want to share something with you guys. I will be participating in uh, one of Streamlabs charities. This is Feeding America's COVID-19 Response Fund. Uh, this basically helps uh, the network of food banks and supports communities and families impacted by the pandemic. Um, as of right now, um, I see that they've raised uh, $2,700 and the goal is for $10,000. Um, so please, if there's anything you guys can donate, please don't hesitate. I will leave the link in my description. And when I will be streaming, uh, either Call of Duty, not Call of Duty, yeah, Call of Duty, or maybe Neo. You know, I'll leave a link there too. Um, I will, I will uh, leave a link in my stream. All right. So anyway, without further ado, let's get this W. Now here's a swing and a little bouncer out to the uh. left of the mound. Oh, he might actually beat it out, Not and he's safe. Him, and how about that? Look at Pete Alonso putting on the, the burners there to get that infield hit. Great hustle right I don't know why the catch the took his time. Look at that. Spons Oates and Douglas Mask. One, but I have to ask you, Dan, took a sweet time. Executing a pitch and I'll find a way to keep his hands back. Sent on the ground oh, and a hole. That's going to drive him in. He almost quick enough for it, and he's going to be, gosh, gunned down. I thought that was enough of a hit for Nemo, but not quick enough. Good throw by the outfielder. Six inches off the inside half, or he's going to have a field day pounding that sinker in there. Should be interesting to see. Okay. Right out of the run. And it's going to be 1 0 Arizona here in the first. Here's the left fielder, Yoenis Cespedes. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine. Oh boy, did a tie game, Yoenis. With a yo bomb. Left it a little high. No doubt about it, going 417 feet. I'm starting to like this platoon with Dominic Smith. One of them gets more rest than the other, and there you go. Yo, with fresh bat, gets that homer. Hey, listen, there's an old adage in baseball that solo home runs won't kill you. Three count to Rosario. You don't want to walk this guy right here. He's got the one tool nobody can teach, and it does not. Opposite direction. That's a base hit. He gets on first base. There's a Met Rosario with a single. Probably looking forward to being it over. Big mistake there. So now to the plate, Brandon Nimmo. And this one's in the dirt. That is a stolen base by Matt Rosario. Not even close. The pitch is in the dirt and is out number two this inning. Man, 35 pitches with only two outs in the second inning. Oh, what the hell is that? Nimmo. And that will score the run from second as they jump in front now. Two to one. That's a triple RBI triple for Kelly Marte. He is one, four, uh, two for two. New inning set to get underway. Now with the plate, Jeff McNeil. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. A swing Ooh, and a drive that's McNeil with a good base hit. Marks it could be out of here. It's off the wall. The round the wall. second, go for third. This is going to be an RBI. Uh, this is going to be just going to be a triple, rather. For Jeff McNeil. Hustling out the box. He's in the dugout wishing that. 3 2 pitch. Base it up the middle. That's going to be an Good RBI single for Pete Alonzo. So the triple by McNeil and the base hit by Alonzo. Now two That's for two in the RBI. Games. Pitchers will throw base is empty now after the double play. Mm -hmm. Digging in is the outfielder, Michael Conforto. High oh, you just forget about that. That's going to be a home run Center by Conforto. Run. Or it's going to find the gap. Get there, so the inning will he's also going to go for three. Conforto will throw to McNeil, but he's going to be safe. That is a triple for Michael Conforto with two outs. Out of the stretch, the 3 2 home. Takes this the field, the and it's going to drop in for a double at least. Going to hit the, the right the field wall. And the runs in that is Jonas Cespedes with a double. Three to two. And he is in the second base with an RBI double. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Oh, that is a bomb. And 
from Wilson Ramos hitting that upper deck area and that makes things a little bit better for Strowman. Robbie Ray struggling so here in the third inning. Center, fourth home run for him on the season. And just on. One two to Escobar. And Got him frozen with the changeup. Inning over. Chance of base I got him frozen with a sinker. Got a mad on the inside sinker. Hit back up the middle. Could be a double play ball. Oh wow, come on, Ahmed. Oh, he's going to throw home, he's going to be safe. Avi be singles can make things 5-3. to three. Two and two. And the pitch. In the air, Ooh, that's, that's Rosario, away. deep into left field, and, and it's going to be a double. It's going to hit the outfield wall. And he'll that is an easy double. By Ahmed Rosario. Really never had. Runner, runner, runner. Uh, two, two. Swing, line, drive. That's a hot That's shot by Dominic Smith. He made RBI and double. Dominic Smith coming from a pinch hitter position to fill in for Marcus Stroman. Comes up big. Let's take another look at just a textbook swing right there. With the double. As you see, I was trying to throw off the pitching with Rosario trying to steal home, but paid off somehow. Oh, big ball. That's second. At first, that is an inning ending double play. Good play by Rosario. Wow. Diving for the ball going at the middle. Save that base hit. Oof. That is a beauty by Rosario. Uh oh, that's Ramos hitting it deep again. And this is out of here. That is Wilson Ramos with his second home run of the game. That is number five in the season, going 422 feet. Yeah, and I'm sure he'd like a base hit of some sort right here, Matty. But hey, you know what? You're up the middle for a base hit. And they'll extend their and that's going to score a run. It's going to be 9 to 3 score. here in the you ninth inning. But it resulted in a line out. Yeah, he hit it hard. Two and two to throw in my fate. There's going to be a ground of the broken bat. The and it's going to be ball game. And the Mets win 9 to 3. It's a little rough in the beginning for Mark Strowman. Again, behind the bats of the Mets, we were able to come out with a W. Bullpen, pretty solid, gave up a few base hits, but was able to just piece together just in time. Mark Stroman with his win, I think that he did make some four, I don't remember, but player of the game, Wilson Ramos, three for four, two home runs, three RBIs. Mark Stroman with three, was it, four strikeouts, three on runs, and two Walks. Six, oh, I'm sorry, five innings pitched. Okay, so we have Marcus Stroman here, and then we're going to have Steven Matz pitch next. So we're going to be simming all the way up to here. Michael Walker sustained an elbow injury in the game. Here's the out there, too. Matz has a shot of going late in the game, finish it off. You know, I'll sim to the end of the game. We went 5 1. Cool. Would like to stop simulating? No. Utilize. Edwin Diaz has a chance to close things out. Um, why isn't Dellen or. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's jump into it. One and two. Come to their feet. Got him! Frozen ball game over and the Mets win. That is a save for Edwin Diaz. The Mets win 5-4 to four against Pittsburgh. Only a two-man off. Take a look at the player of the game, Brandon Nimmo, two for two with a home run and a double. 
Smith. We're going to see Adam Smith two to four the home run in RBI. Robinson Cano with the home run and three RBI. He wants to go one for four with a run. Rick Porcello gets the win. Seven innings pitched, four hits, three strikeouts, three runs run, and three walks. Okay, we'll continue to send here. The ground was a shutout. Nets win 7 up. Well, that's with a bit of a winning streak. We're now 29 and 19. Edwin Diaz blew his game here. Um, let's take a look at what happened. Oh, score. It was a tie game in the eighth inning, it looks like. And they scored two runs. In the eighth, um, pitching wise for the Mets, Stroman three earned runs. Uh, it was Wilson with a blown save, and then Diaz with a loss. Why is Diaz closing games and not Lugo? Hmm. Makes you think. All right, so the. Look at Diaz's ERA, 7.42. He is horrible. He is horrible. But the next game we'll be playing is going to be against Arizona again? <laughs> what are the possibilities of this? Now we have Luke Weaver on the mound for Arizona. Arizona is now 18-30. And we've got Steven Matz, who's 2-3 with a 3.4 ERA, looking for the 30th win of the season. Um, right now we are up at number one in the NL East. Two games ahead of the Marlins. So hope you guys enjoyed this episode of my MLB The Show 20 New York Mets franchise. Don't forget to click the like button. Leave in the comments below if you haven't already subscribed. And remember about the, uh, the charity campaign for the um, Feeding America's COVID-19 Response Fund. I will leave a link in the description below. And, uh, hope you guys have a great day. Take it easy. Stay safe. And peace.